diceva che le sue macchine sono Bugatti andavano bene perché erano belle family is my father is my youth is everything I've been in Bugatti when I was like this she has just been perfect she loves to see new places to do new things she's the most generous car she's brilliant dagli anni 25, 26, 27 ha vinto assolutamente tutto quel che c'era da vincere. E la, il mette le pie attraverso la fenetra perché le ha detto, il, il dice che faceva troppo chaud. <ride> e suo marito ha detto, tu entri le pie, sennò io vendo la voiture. E l'ha vendu. E lei fa tutto che puoi ever ask of her. She's the most generous car. She has the ability to be very sympathetic to the driver and then the driver learns to be very sympathetic to the car. And the, the essence of the driver and the car comes together. Depuis que j'avais 17 ans, j'avais vu les Bugatti, j'avais entendu une Bugatti tourner dans la rue à Paris. J'entendais et ça c'était en 1956 et je me suis dit il faut que j'ai une voiture comme ça un jour. It's a huge event and and for her to do what she's done. She's a great lady. In May 2009, photographer Roberto Bigano went to Tuscany, Italy to shoot some of the most beautiful, expensive and classic cars ever built, the Bugattis. More than 120 Bugatti owners from 25 different countries came to Tuscany to drive their cars for a week in Castiglione della Pescaia and in its wonderful surroundings at the Bugatti International Meeting 2009. It's the most important uh, event ever organized in the Bugatti world. For the camera system, Roberto chose the new Hasselblad H3D239 Multishot. Tripods, heads and stands were Manfrotto, who also supplied all the Avenger light control system. First time I saw Roberto, I said, who is this guy? And after so many years, I can tell you that I was wrong. He seems to be a strange guy, but he's a really nice person. He's a great photographer. He's a really good friend of mine. And I can tell you the best images I saw with the Hasler camera are coming from Roberto. I met Roberto Bigano for the first time many, many years ago when he was working at the Divina Bugatti. The book Divina Bugatti was published by Franco Maria Ricci, one of the most refined publishers in the world. This book is still considered a milestone in his genre. Uh, he did some short uh, that uh, nobody else could have done.
some people have had these cars. Loved. 